All right, welcome to Tool Talk. It's just talking about tools, I suppose. The seven tools. Yeah, 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 the seven tools. The seven tools you must own if you want my respect. I don't got time to mess around here. I'm late for dinner. Mother made a sweet casserole and I'm going to be eating it. All right, we're gonna start off. I'm telling you, these are tools basically I use every day, without fail. First up, end cutting pliers. Uh-oh, a little dark against my shirt. We got uh, Klein and Knipex. You see the difference? Kleins are a lot bigger which is actually a disadvantage sometimes. You want something small to get into places, that's where these knipexes are nice. These things are amazing. You can cut with them, huh? You can pry, you can beat with them, you can smash somebody's face in, you can pull teeth, clip your fingernails. Boy, if you're clipping your fingernails with these, if you're clipping your fingernails with these, you got some pretty rugged fingernails. Let's move on. This is a how did I live without it? It's a headlamp. This is a Milwaukee rechargeable headlamp. Multi-mode, it's got like a spotlight. Let's walk through this. Multi-modes, spot and flood, then just spotlight high, spotlight low, and then just floodlight. It's pretty slick. Adjustable head strap. Pops out and it's got a little magnet on the back. I have nothing to stick it to. I'll stick it to the man! And it just, it's held in there by the magnet. Boom, boom, moving on. This one, this is a special one here. This is the Leica Disto D2 laser tape measure. Shine it right in your eye, it's essential. Phenomenal, it's got a neat little feature here. Just flips out the back. You can hook it on a wall or something, an edge, and measure from that edge. Love it. Let's get some B-roll. Can we get some B-roll? Is there any B-roll? Is there any other footage? Anybody? Moving on. Okay, this is number four. Number four. Boom. Three line, 360 degree, green line, laser level. A nail stuck on the magnet. This is one of the most used tools that I have. Just nothing better. Three lines, 360 degrees. I'm shooting lines all over the place. I can't even keep track most of the time. All right, I'm exaggerating, but it is pretty much essential especially when you work alone. It's got a little knob here you can rotate. Can you see this? You can set it and then rotate it a little bit. One thing I like about this, I had the DeWalt, basically the same thing, but sometimes you wanna set the laser at a little bit of a skew, but you can't because it's self-leveling, obviously. This one has a lock. So there's a three, there's a two-step two switch. First one keeps the pendulum locked. The second one releases it, which is pretty nice. Sometimes, like I say, you want to set it at an angle for whatever reason. So I like that feature. That's why I bought it, traded it in. I sold it. Uh, I sold the DeWalt on eBay, and I just got raped. They take so many fees, it's unbelievable. This is part of a set. I'm grouping these together. This is one tool, basically. They're, they're the same thing, or the same. They're in the same family. This one is a plum dot laser. So it shoots a dot down here, and then one right up, straight up. This one also shoots one out the front, and you can get these in five dot versions, I think. Just make a mark on the floor, boom. Shoots it right to the ceiling. Uh, can lights, this is really handy for. That's what I use it for mainly. And this one is pretty cheap. So it run you like 100, I don't know. It wasn't that expensive. This one on the other hand, it's pretty pricey. It's about a $600 laser. By now, I'm sure everybody has an oscillating tool. That's the next item on the list. This one happens to be from Festool. And it's really expensive, I know. Calm down, but this is my favorite, one of my favorite tools. I got a lot of tools. This one gets used almost daily. Powerful, variable speed, yada yada. It's just really ergonomic. I like it, okay? Uses my batteries, my Festool batteries. But what's special about this one, it's got a couple of accessories. This is a plunge base here. This locks on. And 
allows you to plunge to plunge straight down in. And it's also got a depth stop, so you can just set it and forget it. Dust collection, which is one of the reasons, actually that's my, I use this accessory not often, but it's handy sometimes. This one, I always use. It's a dust adapter. See that? Just clips, clips on and man, when you're cutting drywall with this, it's sucking it all up. Every last particle, okay? So that's, um, that's why I like this. I have a DeWalt one as well that I use just for banging around and cutting with whatever, just grabbing and cutting. What am I trying to say here? Don't even touch it anymore. It makes me sick. Sick! Okay, moving on. Let's be honest, sometimes all you need is a tape measure and a pencil. But you don't want that tape measure tearing up your pants pocket, and you don't want that pencil in your pocket. Well, there's a solution. And it's the Occidental Tape Measure and Pencil Scabbard. Features a clip, handy pocket clip. Let's see here. Ooh, ah, yes, beautiful. Let me clip it up here too, huh? Get on there, there we go. Sometimes it's all you need, folks. Boom, there it is. Don't you ever fall down on me again. Now this list was in no particular order. This is one of my new favorites. Milwaukee cordless work light. Three brightness levels. We got high, medium, no, we got high, medium, low. Come on, low. And, and this is what I really think is cool. It's got an AC port. You can just plug a cord in. Boom. Otherwise, you can fit any size Milwaukee battery in there. Five amp hour, that'll give you about three hours of runtime on high. So I got it, I, this is one of my newest purchases. Um, I'm loving it, love it. I have, ow, ouch, I have these Festool lights which are super bright and nice, I like them. But you know, you got the cord there, and then, you know, before you know it, you're hanging from the ceiling. This is outrageous, unbelievable. <sighs> well, that's gonna wrap it up. So if you want my respect, you'll own these tools, or some version of them. If you wanna be my friend, you're gonna need to own these tools. Capiche? All right. Hey, yeah, it's a little hot in here, I'm sweating a little bit. Maybe you should like and subscribe and I won't have to sweat so much. Give me a little motivation, huh? It's not every day I can sit out here and do this. I gotta work. Pete's sake. What do you think this is? Some sort of charity case? I'm just trying to please you. Well, I actually did get hot in here. Cut.